What I have here is called balut. It's a fertilized duck embryo that's boiled and eaten from the shell. And I'm about to try this impossible challenge for the very first time in my life. And the first time. Not only will I eat balut, but I will also indulge in not one, not two, not three, but a whopping five exotic foods found on this street in Manila. We're in Manila. This is Chinatown. Today we're doing exotic food. I got to tell you, I am nervous. This is Gideon and Andy. I met these guys down in Bicol at a restaurant, and they invited me up here in Manila to take me for exotic food. That's how I've gotten here. We're going to go, and let's do exotic food. Starts in three, two, one. Binondo is a district located in Manila, Philippines, known for being the world's oldest Chinatown. First, my friends and I set out to find exotic food in Binondo, Manila, and our first target is soup number five. Okay, so what is it, brother? It's soup number five? Soup number five is a unique dish found in some Filipino eateries. It's a traditional soup made from bull or cow testicles. Ooh, the balls and the penis of the cow. I'm kind of nervous to put this in my mouth. Ugh. To our surprise, the only restaurant serving authentic soup number five was out of stock. As a newcomer, I didn't know where to find another authentic soup number five. Adding to the problem, we arrived at 10 p.m. and most restaurants were already closed. Sounds like there might be a problem. Maybe might be a problem, might not be any stock or inventory. I think that might be a good thing because I'm nervous. I'm lucky. Yeah. Ah. Okay, no soup number five. I was gonna try it, I'm nervous. But we're looking for an alternative exotic food, so just hang with us. Fortunately, Gideon and Andy, being locals, suggested a change of location, guiding us to a street called Ugbo Street. All right, brother, here's our new location. We're in Tundo, what barangay? Ugbo. Uh, Ugbo. All right, we got a big night market stretching all the way down there. Let's go find something exotic, all right? So we began searching and stumbled upon an exotic food served on this narrow street, and it's called tumbong soup. We're going to eat tumbong. <laughs> ah, pig okay. Intestine soup. The pig intestine soup. Ah, tumbong. Okay, Tum, tumbong soup. Nothing goes to waste here in the Philippines. They eat it all. Oh, he sour the smoke. Yeah, I've heard that one. Yeah. Kind of nervous. It's empty, right? It's empty. What is inside? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't ask. All right, dinner is served. We got the pig intestine soup, lechon, rice. I gotta be honest, I'm still nervous about eating this. Test time. I know the lechon is amazing. Let's start. All right. I think we're gonna start slow. Just go with the lechon. No, you can start here. <laughs> okay. I, I, I was nervous. That's why I was going for the lechon. Pork, large intestine soup. Iwao. Wow. That's its name. Iwao. Tumbong is the big, big uh, intestine. Uh, Iwao is the, the isao, small. Isao is, is the small one, that's right. I don't even know what's inside of it. I, I'm just gonna close my eyes, put it in my mouth. The texture of the intestine is very soft. There's no crunch to it. Uh, so it kind of makes it a little chewy. Um, yeah, there's aftertaste, yeah. I can taste that. Some of the aftertaste is the, the onions, the onions that are in it. Yep. After tasting tumbong soup, I ventured towards another new challenge, trying balut. This is the most exotic and unusual food that I will try tonight. Uh, I don't know. It's got a beak. So balut is a, it's a, a chicken or a duck. Charlie, you can eat this. It, it's half developed. Spine over mother. There, there could be like feathers and a beak. <laughs> So brother here, Kuyam, he's never eaten it either. I don't eat this one, but it's gonna be the first time for him, first time for me. Balut is a popular and well-known Filipino dish. It's a fertilized duck embryo that's boiled and eaten from the shell. The egg is typically incubated for around 14 to 21 days before it's cooked. It's still warm. It's 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 like literally still growing inside there. It's warm. They have it on heat. What do we do? To hit it? Then you soup. Drink the soup. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. See the soup? 
Oh, I can I can see some of it. Ew. Oh, jeepers! Holy shit! I just fucking I just vomited. I think he did too. This is blocked, man. Dude. Look, it, half the chicken is inside there. Oh my god, I feel bad. Oh, uh, guys, I, I don't think I can do this. Uh, oh my god. If there's anything that good that comes out of this, I'm gonna have an empty stomach. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my gosh, this is. I, I already vomited. Yeah. Oh. That they said it was small. This is like. This is. This is. It's hard. There's. There's some hard pieces. It, and it looks like feathers. Look, look, it's feathers. Those are feathers. Man, I'm. I'm really nervous right now. This, this is. This is. I swear, I'd never eat this stuff. I don't know. It's got eyeballs. I, I don't know what this is, but it's hard. See that, that's, see that, that, see that, that's, that's hard. It's like a bone or something. I don't, I don't know what that is. It's half a chicken egg. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> No, I can't do this. <laughs> I don't think I can do it, guys. Oh. Did you eat it? Oh, thank you, thank you. They, they could see what was coming. She ran over with the dustpan. Guys, I tried. That's balot. I don't, I don't know how they do it. Unbelievable, unbelievable. It's a dining experience. Now we got empty stomachs. The pig intestine come all out. Let's go on down the road. We'll try some more stuff. After experiencing the unforgettable taste of balut, we sought more exotic foods that I had never eaten before. Okay. Yeah, the other one's pork. It's ears. Ah, oh, the chicken ears. Pork ears, pork ears. Oh, pork ears. Yeah, it would be kind of big for chicken chickens. Butt. Across the street, we discovered a stall selling various kinds of street food. I decided to order a chicken head. Chicken head. Oh, that chicken head. But while waiting for it to cook, I sampled the grilled dry squid. And squid. So we, we've got the chicken head, it's gonna be kind of weird, and the squid. All right, so we got the squid. Uh, got some kind of vinegar chili sauce. Okay. There we go. Squid. I don't know, very chewy. Yeah, I don't know what to think, man. There's no taste, it's very thin, it's very, very chewy. Got next one, no vinegar. Okay, it's so chewy, I, I, don't, I don't really understand it. All right, well, we'll wait for our chicken head to finish. This is pretty, pretty, pretty crazy, I'm a little, Freaked out. We'll try it. It's, it's a chicken head. That's his head helmet. with his helmet. That's his helmet with his brain in there and his neck. So we're, we'll start first on the neck. What do I do? Just suck it? Let me try the neck first. I'll start on the neck because I, I need to build up. Whoa. It's uh, very hot from the, the barbecue. It's his lips right there. Maybe his eyeballs. Charlie, I'm scared. I'm scared. Bok, bok, bok. Oh, sucking his brains out there. Okay, it shouldn't be that bad. It's just neck muscle. We're not around the brain or anywhere. Oh, it's his brains in there. Guys, I can't, I can't do that. I'm not eating. 
It's not the brain, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. We tried, guys, I almost vomit again. We tried it. So the neck is very, very chewy. The llama head, the cube. The neck is very chewy. It wasn't that bad. The meat around there, the, you know, around the, 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 the thing. Once I uh, once I got into that brain, uh, that's that's pretty weird. That's, it, so what's this one better, balut or the... The blue was worse, man. Like we we all vomited like instantly eating that. Okay, well, thank you. After eating the chicken, we headed to a stall that sells a rice dish called Puto Bong Bong. All right, here's our uh, next one. How much is this? Forty peso? Sixty peso? This this is some kind of form of rice, like steamed sticky rice. Well, let's try it. We'll take one. Puto Bong Bong is a Filipino delicacy commonly enjoyed during the Christmas season. It's a type of rice cake that's purple in color, traditionally made from glutinous rice flour called galapong. Yeah, the container's made out of bamboo. The distinct purple hue comes from the addition of purple yam, locally known as ube. Bong bong. Put so this is puto bong bong. All right, let's try this, man. Okay, so wh what's on the top? Is that sugar? Oh, this is sugar and uh, coconut meat. And coconut meat. Okay. Bong bong, sticky, sticky rice. A little bit of sugar on there. Oh, it's sweet. Like candy. You'd never know that this is rice. It's actually very good. Oh, the coconut. I might have to get this one to go. I'll eat about half, but I, I like this. Bong. Bong bong, right? Puto bong bong. Put, okay, puto bong bong. <laughs> Not bong bong Marcus, puto bong bong. Yeah, it's very good, very good. We tried it, we got our reaction. It's good, amazing. I like it, puto bong bong. We're gonna give the rest to one of the kids, I think. That's what we'll do, okay? Johnny, Johnny, yes, papa. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny, yes, papa. Johnny, Johnny, yes, papa. Oh. <laughs> While walking home, a guy called out to us, asking us to try their unique sisig, and then I found out why. His pork sisig consisted of mayonnaise. Okay, he, he's, he's called me out. He says he wants me to try his sisig. Sisig, sisig. Pork sisig is a popular Filipino dish known for its savory and tangy flavors. It's made primarily from parts of the pig's head, like the cheeks, ears, and sometimes the snout, although variations with other cuts of pork are also common. All right, we got the pork sig sig, and uh, this is a lot different. So we got the pork sig sig. Oh yeah, that's what it is, chicharron. Uh, the, the fried pork skin, we got egg. And what is the white? Oh, mayonnaise. Oh, mayonnaise, that's different. Mayonnaise, that's, uh, that's kind of new. It's very hot. Sizzling plate, so. Oh. oh, wow, it's so hot. The dish is hot. So the seasick, you gotta drink it with the beer. That's kind of where the origins of it come from. It's a pollutant. Pollutant is a food you, you consume while you're drinking some alcohol or something. As I wrap up trying all these unique foods from the Philippines, I'm amazed by the new flavors I've experienced. From tumbong soup to the adventurous balut, each bite felt like a story. It's like tasting the culture of the Philippines. It's very good. We're gonna finish up our uh, dishes here. It was a good oh, night, brother. It's been a very good night. Thank you, brother. We did good. It's always nice making friends in the Philippines. I like your uh, pork sisig, kuya. Very good, very good. We've been up and down the street there, lots of exotic foods. Hope you liked it. It's probably a lengthy, lengthy video, this one. Anyways, until next time, my friends, we appreciate you, we love you guys gonna be videos up top, some videos down below. Big round button, hit that round button, that's the su subscribe button. If you haven't already, like. Till then, we'll see you soon. Love you. Go with the flow, babe. Now if you're tired of the mind games, everybody seems to play. Well, it's a live lesson, cause that game is here to stay.